A team of researchers have collected air quality data and samples around West London and from sensors worn by individuals participating in their clinical study to find out about their exposure and health response to airborne pollution. This data has been used to develop sophisticated computer models showing how pollution travels around city streets. It also shows how plants and trees can significantly help to reduce air pollution. The team analysed samples from volunteers' airways and developed models to understand how air pollution affects our cells and health. In the future, this approach could help us to gauge our own health risk from the air pollution in our local areas. An in-depth study of the composition and movement of particles in the London Underground, which gives new and important insights into what we inhale when we travel on underground trains, is under review. This work also considers how improving ventilation on the underground could improve air quality significantly. The team have also contributed to guidance on how schools and local communities can take simple steps to significantly improve air quality. This guidance has been published in 16 languages. These improvements could make a big difference to our lives. It is estimated that around 30,000 people in the UK a year die from exposure to air pollution. In addition, reducing air pollution could prevent many of us from suffering the effects of chronic illnesses, like coronary heart disease and from having strokes.